Okay, so Thursday, 1020. We got 10 minutes until we get natural gas numbers. I'm going to pull up our commodity spreads. We're going into natural gas. And let's start things off with the 11 AMs. And currently, we're looking at the September natural gas contract. So we're trading just under $3. We've had some volatility this morning. Yeah, you got some movement out here. Definitely. And to back this up even a little. Too easy to wear. Yeah, I mean, we're at 294 right now. We're okay. under as low as on about 292. We got a handle, 293. Um, just backing things up to early Wednesday, we're up there just approaching $3. Zooming in a bit. So what we're going to look at, we have EIA numbers at 1030. And I'm jumping back to these charts. So with natural gas sitting just under 295, what's nice is the 11 AMs line up where we're going to have 295 for a price no, point. We want exposure to the upside yeah. and downside, all right? So here's our bullish spread for 11 AM. We got 20 cents to the upside. That's going to be a little out of the money because the actual indicative, the underlying is right under 295. Yeah. And then your bearish spread is going to be the one that has a little bit of intrinsic value since the contract's trading under. You're going to be selling the bearish. $20. Pretty good. Two Not cents. Bad. Two cents away from 295. And we've we'll moved four cents just in the last yeah. four hours. Yes. Yeah. Um, so those are your 11 AMs. News comes out at 1030. We get those numbers uh, where you'd have exposure until 11. Jumping to the noons, which is nice, same exact oh, spreads. Good. So all the only variable changing here is the extra hour. And it looks like it's going to cost us about an extra dollar on the bullish side. And uh, I, I would guess it's going to be pretty similar on the bearish side. Yeah, so 21. That's sweet. And that's where it's awesome when it comes like that because yeah. If you're looking for volatility, one penny. That seems like it would be an affordable premium. Oh, it's not even a penny. It's a tenth it is of a penny. penny. Right. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's 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 a tenth of a penny in the contract. Right. 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 So you know, when we're paying twenty one dollars here for both contracts, you'd be looking for two point one pennies That's away sweet. from two ninety five. Uh, begins to become your break even. And let's just jump around and see how some of the dailies real quickly line up. So. If you're looking for the 8 till 230s, those are going to have $3 you'd have to use for your price point. Those would really be a pretty negative bearish right. trade because you're five cents in the money to the bearish side. And then on the dailies, pretty similar, right? So, and just to give a quick illustration, if you're looking from $3 down to 250, this is where, now just setting things up here though, this is a cool trade that you're making this trade potentially with a bearish position, right? right. But what's nice is you're almost essentially getting in at market. That's I mean, the market's, tra market's yeah. trading at 294.47. Yeah. So call it 294.5. Right. And you're getting in at 294.2. So you're selling it three-tenths of a penny below market. That's, That's all it is, right? With defined risk. And that price. was going to be the final question. Wow. The only reason you're paying that kind of three-tenths of a penny in premium is because your risk is capped out at three dollars and you have exposure to 250. Keeping in mind, I can't even foresee a position where natural gas falls 45 cents no, before, I'm, I'm but right. guess what? It could move 10 cents. Right. And no matter what, you're, you're doing. And that, that's, that's until 2.30. That's until 2.30. Right. Yeah. Right. So we'll see what happens. 10.24 about right now. We get the numbers at 10.30. So, and so we'll be looking. we need 2.1 pennies. Okay, exactly. And that's, that's we're up. looking at the September contract and natural gas. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, natural gas, where are you? And that's in September, okay. It sure so is. This would, this would be delayed when I'm looking at this, but yeah. I think it's pretty right on right now. So, you got, well, this is going to be interesting too. This, this is going to be, you know, this is a nice place because what we've already done here at the top of the range, you know, the range in natural gas is like that 299. Yeah. The bottom of the range is 267. Oh, my sure. God. Um, intraday. It's a big range when no, we go back to daily May. May, yeah. And, oh, this is going to be interesting, man. This, the, we got volatility out of here. This is, look at this volatility this morning, man. Yeah. Now, keep in mind that we didn't even hit the 297. It's only about a penny and a half, two pennies. Yeah. Um, but it's nice when it's jumping around a penny or two ahead right. of the news. That low is 293.5. Okay. We'll see where that baby shakes out. But we sure will. We've had some good volatility out there. Yeah. Right, folks, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's take a look at that natural gas. Uh, you got a little pop out here. We do. So we have, let's pull the headline over. Natural gas inventories rising 48 billion cubic feet last week. We pulled up the estimate somewhere between 50 to 52, yeah. depending on the median analyst estimate. So a little bit under what they were looking for. That would explain a bit of a pop right off the bat. Uh, 295 is kind of where we're trading at. If you made those volatility trades, 295 is not where you're 
where you want to end up at right. 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock. You need 297.1 for break even. Yeah, you know, because uh, you have exposure basically for volatility to the downside and upside from that 295 price point because that's where both those spreads line up. So we got the number. We'll see where it plays out. Uh, right off the bat, though, trading, we're at about 294.5. We're up about a penny from it's where we were. It's a little strength, yeah. It has a little strength, for sure. Those are your five-minute bars, and uh, we'll check back in and see what happens on that natural gas. 877-927-6648. Let's go back and look at that gas car chart. Let's do it. Let's see where we're at. Man, it's been five minutes. It could be anywhere. Oh, we look at, well. Yeah, so we made it up to a high of 296.5. Again, you're looking for two cents, or so 297, yeah. about a little bit higher than that to the upside would start to become your exposure. Now, one of the things we always talk about, let's say you made the 12 o'clock trade so you know so towards your upside downside all your value right now in the bullish spread here would be your bullish spread yeah you could get out of that right now if you wanted to take 12 bucks off the table you cut your cost down to about nine or ten dollars and then if you're looking for a, a reversal you have value anywhere below 295 right. and having until noon that's definitely possible in terms of that contract ending up below 295 in the next hour and a half right you know that that uh Volatility trade yesterday in the oil market would yeah. have been insane. Yeah, that's quite a that's quite. that's the yesterday. If you had we'll laid, pull it up because if you laid that on, I didn't take it off. That was pretty intense, man. And of course, you wouldn't need the volatility trade to get action in both directions because yeah. otherwise you would have had to be directional. But man, oh man, right? So we'll just go back to yesterday. We're at about sixty-seven dollars. That's at about eight thirty yesterday morning. Okay, and then yeah, the oil contract. You know, we're at sixty-eight dollars by the time you get up there. And that's just at the morning, let alone if you, you know, where we came from overnight and so forth. And There's yet, dailies in yet, there. There's and what happened yesterday is that that was, that was a very small amount. I, well, I, I forget what it was, but it's like 20 or 30 cents. Okay, was, I forgot was, myself. It was, a, it was I do. 40 cents, I think. I think yeah, it was I mean, cents. so here's the contract at 10.25 yesterday, yeah. trading about 67.35. I think we we're looking at 67.25 being the pivot point on those spreads. And 67.25, man, you know, when we get up to noon, we we're up there at $68. So that was, well. yeah, big time. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. And uh, gas uh, laying out here at uh, 295. Yeah, one final check. So it's 10.55 about right now. And natural gas, if we were making that volatility trade, 295 is not where you want to be. No. And and it kind of had quite a little pullback. Uh, these are five-minute bars we're looking at. So you traded from 296 to 295 at about 1045. And again, you have the noon expiration. You still could have the hour. We talked about there's a lot of ways to trade this, obviously. There is. You could have taken some money off the table when you got that first spike. If maybe you were a little bit bearish, maybe you just didn't think the number that came in was going to give you the type of volatility you wanted. Either way, uh, we'll see what happens. But 295, 23 as we sit there at 10, 1055. And what we, what we will get, I suspect, folks, is that as we get into the winter, that's where natural gas will get maybe a little more volatile. Oil is definitely volatile. Oil, why not? Yeah. Let's finish with that as well, yeah. because I said to you, 9.30 this morning, we're trading down there at 67.33, yeah. and we traded all the way up almost to 68, called 67.99. Yeah. Uh, quite a number, man, in terms of 68, 68. How many times are you going to peak above that 68 before well, we that's, go Well, see, that's, that's where the, the sell-down was in May as well as July. Okay. And the, those, those sellers are just laying there, and that's yeah. when we came down $3 in one day. And you back this up. I mean, this yeah. is, you know, Tuesday at 5 in the morning. We're down there at 65.33. And we traded to 68 and change, almost $3 in the span of about 48 hours. Uh, quite a run, man. So Huge. we'll see what happens. Huge yeah, run. Definitely. Huge run.